In this video, we're going to talk about a common stress fracture called a calcaneus stress fracture and potentially some treatment options to help that stress fracture heal. My name is Dr. David Geyer, double board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and media medical expert. I help you feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical condition. As always in this Ask Dr. Geyer video, like all my videos, I'm not giving you medical advice. This is meant for general information and educational purposes only. The calcaneus is the heel bone, a very large bone in the back of your foot, the bottom of your ankle that absorbs a lot of stress with running, with walking. And calcaneus stress fractures are fairly common as far as different stress fractures go, especially in women as you go through menopause and in postmenopausal women, but really anybody with low bone density and that does a repetitive sport exercise activity is potentially at risk and it's typically going to be pain on that bone especially when you try to squeeze that bone together the doctor can make that uh, diagnosis fairly easily sometimes without even an MRI now the question about uh, treatment options that I got was whether shockwave treatment would help and there's different forms of shockwave there's bone stimulators that can deliver uh, shockwaves and then there's uh, these machines like the gains wave that can be used as shockwave treatments for a variety of musculoskeletal injuries and if you read the the scientific literature out there there are studies that show that some forms of shockwave can be good for stress fractures like a calcaneus stress fractures others that show you know, maybe not so much of a benefit typically when you see them used or recommended it's in stress fractures that aren't healing or are very slow to heal fortunately calcaneus stress fractures are not in that group they tend to heal fairly reliably rest from running and sports uh, sometimes full rest from walking and non weight bearing even though that usually isn't typically needed it's just eliminating that repetitive impact typically is enough to get it to heal but if it's really being slow to heal, it might be worth talking to your doctor about whether shockwave treatment might be appropriate to help it heal. If you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the bell to be notified when I'm on a live stream that I start uh, so that you can join in and join in, ask comments or ask questions and leave comments or when I release new videos. If you'd like to see me as a patient, I'd be happy to help. Again, I'm a double board certified orthopedic surgeon and I'd love to talk to you about all your options to recover from your injury, not just surgery, not just cortisone shots and physical therapy. There's a link in this uh, in the description below this video that takes you to the contact page on my website. And there you can fill out a form to figure out either how potentially you can see me as a patient or other ways to work with me. Thank you so much for watching. Looking forward to helping you feel and perform better than ever.